and welcome to another one of my videos. Yesterday I'm going to be doing my makeup and if you have noticed I am feeling very green today. Yes, feeling very natural and green and gorgeous and polleny. I am going to be transforming myself into a gorgeous um, stunning plant sim lady and um, very inspired by the plant sims from The Sims 2 um, and as you can see I've got my lovely um, headpiece on which is by Paulette Cherry who's very talented look at the gorgeous little peaches up there aren't they very stunning it's very 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 well done yeah so go follow Paulette Cherry on, on, on Instagram she's very very talented she recently made a wig out of fake cherries and it's like this big and it's really gorgeous so go and check her out also um, my gorgeous earrings, which look like plum bobs from The Sims, and um, they were made by Girl1000 on Instagram. She is also very, very talented, and I admire her earrings very much. Yes, I do. Anyway, I must press on. I've already covered a lovely green base. But before I start, I need to remove my glasses. Yes. I have gorgeous eyeballs and they are very, very stunning. Yes, they are. Oh, <laughs> I can see everything clearly now. Right, so first we need to contour. Yes, so I'm going to take a small brush. It's got a bit of purple on it, but I don't really think that matters because we're going to cover it in green anyway. Some of the sugar pill. This is a sugar pill eyeshadow palette and I, it is a bit of a mess because I've been using it to mix foundations on now and again but um oh I can see my face in there that's absolutely gorgeous right okay so I'm going to use this lovely green here it's called radiate yes we're being very eco and very green and very she-hulk now it's got it's a it's the same color as my hair today which is very gorgeous it blends in rather well look at that everybody isn't that absolutely stunning up into the hairline oh yes very poison ivy um, and a bit under the nose like so so i'm just cutting into that double chin very nicely now i kind of need a bit of a darker green because i want my cheeks to have really gorgeous dimension see I'm putting a bit of a shadow in there now ah oh. Okay, right. Oh, we'll pull your face like this. Yes! Ah! Okay, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the shadows. Look at everything. And demolishing that double chin. Been eating way too many Pringles. I love using small brushes. We're going to be getting the Ben Nice Super White next. And we're going to be using that to um, highlight all of the things around our face. Yes. Going up the cheekbone like so. Oh my goodness me, she's gorgeous. And up here as well. Oh. Now this is where we're going to go up the nose. And we're going to narrow that, that nose contour. Oh, my nose just disappeared. Look how lovely that is, people. Okay, so we're going to leave that on to bake. I'm still using the same eyebrow pencil as I've been using for the past two years. But it's still still going. It's very small, but um, it works wonders. Eyebrow that goes up and then straight down again. And the second eyebrow is also going on. Okay, the Disney villain has arrived, everybody. The Disney villain has arrived and she's gorgeous. Look how stunning I look. Oh my goodness, man. Who is she? Her name is Jean. And she is, she is, she's a gorgeous little plant lady, yes. Okay, right, I'm going to be taking a gorgeous foundation brush, which is more. So the foundation is going on, everybody. Gorgeous eyebrow, yes, that's happening. Okay, right, shut up, Juno, let's do this. Um, and then what we're going to be doing, we take this finger and we dip it into the foundation like so, and then we just pat it all over just to um, blend that all in. Okay, right, get that hair out of the way. Excuse me, can you stop it, please? Very rude. Next, get the Ben Nye Super White, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be matting the, uh, the, um, the, um, what's it called? Um, what's that called? Brow bone, brow bone, yes. Right, okay. So we're just put it, plonking that on. We want it to be lovely and matte. Dust off. We're going to go on to blush. And yes, I know, it's a bit of a weird time to start blushing, but I want to, so I will. Gorgeous, rosy pink. You see it here. It's very, very gently rosying the cheeks. This is happening. Yes, it's going on very nicely. Is it blending well, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Don't put too much on, please. Stop it. 
And then we're going to put a little bit onto the nose here. Okay, right, I'm just going on the eyebrows with some um, darker tone of green. Plonk that in there. What we're going to be doing next is we're going to be doing, what are we doing next? We're taking a darker green and we're going to do a lovely crease, yes. But I don't have a hand mirror. Phil! Can, it, can you bring me a hand mirror? Oh my god, look at the state of this mirror, everybody. Oh my goodness, mate, it looks absolutely filthy. Dirty Juno. Right, okay. So I'm going to have a little bit of Lucasaid, and then I'm going to do my eyelids, and it's going to be very gorgeous, and you are going to be gagged immediately. I'm going to be doing my lids differently. I'm going to start here. Yes, I am. All the way over here. See what I'm doing. So it's a slightly different eye shape than what I would normally do. If you could see my desk right now, you would be sick as that disgustingly messy. I watched a movie last night, and um, I think I annoyed my neighbours because I screamed multiple times during the movie because I thought it was very scary. And it was called The Taking of Deborah Logan. Oh my goodness me, it was absolutely horrifying. Oh my god, it was so scary. I think I annoyed them yesterday with my screaming. But it's just natural, when you're scared, you scream. Tease out the colour. Yes, come on out colour, you can do this. Just blend that colour down the nose, like so. Pollen is cancelled. Oh, that's looking very stunning, isn't it? And now I'm taking the other morph brush and just blending again the same and dragging it down the nose. I'm going to do the foundation on the eyelids and then we're going to go around and neaten it all up and make it look very dimensional and gorgeous. Be very careful around this area because you want it to be gorgeous and neat. This is, this is a lot better, isn't it? I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Okay, that's great. I'm gonna just pull back the head like so. Oh, this is like playing Twister with my face. Also, if you have quite saggy eyelids like me, it's better to tap when you're doing a cut crease. My favorite white eyeshadow at the moment is the House Laboratories eyeshadow. It's very gorgeous yesterday. So. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Oh, look who has joined the party. It is the fridge. I'm taking the dark green on this lovely little bent brush. This is absolutely gorgeous. My favourite brush is it is. And I'm going to use that to just outline the crease again. It's the blackest eyeshadow that I own and it's from Makeup or Breakup. Yes, they're very, very gorgeous. Now, Makeup or Breakup are a lovely makeup company that's in the Afflex Palace in Manchester. So you ever, if you're ever visiting Manchester for a little bit of a shopping trip, um, go into Affleck palettes because they have some gorgeous eyeshadows in makeup or breakup. Yes, they're very good. It's just creating a bit more darkness. Going on with the other crease on the other side. Joy Desperate is shook. Um, I don't know whether some other people notice this, but I'm getting quite old now. So um, when I do a bit too much eyeshadow on my eyelids, they kind of look like a tortoise's neck. Oh no! Okay everybody, next what we're going to be going to doing is we're going to be taking this gorgeous sugar pill eyeshadow and it's like a pigment that you use to put on your eyelids or whatever or face and it's very gorgeous. Yes, I feel like I'm on QVC right now. This is very, very, I like this. It's, <laughs> this is quite entertaining as it is. Okay, right, I'm going to put this on now. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh wow, who is she? Her name is Jean and she's going to get you. The House Laboratories Eyeliner, which is my favourite eyeliner. Yes it is. That is the wing, everybody. That is the wing and it's looking very gorgeous. Now, I've done a bit of a thick wing because I love a thick wing. Going on with the second wing, I just know for a fact that Lady Gaga watches my YouTube videos and she's just stunned with the beauty. So unfortunately, this eyeliner is going that way and this eyeliner is going that way but we're going to make it work everybody we're going to make it work okay right <gasps> right I'm just putting a bit of this on oh my goodness me hello she's coming together hello hi how are you I'm absolutely fine thank you oh my god that went right in my cornea oh my god the corneas are being attacked everybody the corneas are being attacked help the white 911 eyeshadow. Uh, putting white eyeshadow under the eyes. Yes, that's happening. In we go, people. In we go. This is happening. Yes, it is. And it's very, very gorgeous. Yes, it is. So this that I use for the white eyeshadow, I'm just going to, like, take a really close mirror and I'm going to do a lovely little line. Let's have a look at you. Let's see what's happening. Oh my goodness me. Yes. White 
the excess off around the sides. Oh my god, she's, who is she? Right, okay, what I'm doing next is the nose contour. I'm just, so creating a bit of a shadow under here. Okay. Oh my god, look at that nose, everybody. Look at this nose contour. <gasps> she has arrived. Well, no, she's not fully arrived yet. But now, I'm going to use this lovely morph brush. We're going to use stupid love to do our lips. We're going to do a very big lip today. Trust me, it's going to be huge. Right, I can't speak. Just sketching out the lip that we're going to do. Okay, this, the lip is slowly coming together, everybody. The lip is slowly coming together. Look at that. Look at these gorgeous lips. I'm going to just put a bit of Cherish in the middle. Like this. And then what I'm going to do now is put this on in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is lovely brush. Now I'm going to use some plastic doll to mat my lips with. Like so. Okay. Oh, it's open. Lovely lashes that I'm using by AC Cosmetics. They look quite subtle and I wanted to do a subtle eyelash today. I'm a skeeb and I'm blabble and a plubble wibble flabble and a cooble wabble plebe. A skibble wabble floob. Okay, right, stop. <laughs> I think Mr. Birch is already getting sick of me performing in the house. There we go. The lash is on, everybody. Oh my god, that went straight off. I want a small lash. When I'm feeling a bit sleepy, I like to wear smaller lashes. It makes me feel more awake. If I'm a bit sleepy and I put on a big lash, it weighs down my eyelids and I just want to go to bed. Merge them together. Merge them. We're looking like a really good um, plant lady. I was doing some veins, like veiny, poison ivy-esque sort of things, like the plant sims have. And I went up my neck and, and such, and I wasn't a fan. It wasn't making me feel very, feel my fantasy, so I've stopped in my tracks. I did this and I don't like it. So, and now I'm going to take some white acrylic paint, and I'm going to use that to do my dots on my face. Yes, that's happening. Yes, it is. And I'm just putting a dot on there. Lovely one here also. And a little dot there. I've always been a painter and I always like to paint my sculptures and um, paintings and things. And I always used to do little dots um, here and there to show where the light's coming from. And it's sort of worked its way into my drag makeup. Yes, it has. Oh, that's so stunning. Yes, it has. Just for some extra shine. Ah. Oh. My. God. Oh my god, I cannot believe I've just done that. Okay, so you know that little mixture I made for the veins? I've just tipped that all over my knees. I've literally just tipped it everywhere. Clean that up. Okay, so my darlings, this is the finished look. Yes, it is. And I'm loving every second of it. Oh my goodness me, look at this queen. She's absolutely stunning, look at her. Ah, oh. and she is the queen of nose contours. Look at this nose contour, everybody, it's absolutely gorgeous. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me do my makeup, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye!